Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Now, if you just joined us, uh, the City Girls were here earlier this week, and Charlemagne asked them this. Talking about the pussy talk record, I want to ask you about something that something in that record. You say, no, nothing but this cash make this pussy talk. No, nothing but a bag make this pussy talk. With that said, does your pussy ever just have casual conversation? No, I pussy talk money. Like, I just want to talk money. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about nothing else. It's like, we need to get it straight to the point. What's up? Mm-hmm. I'm a, I told you this when I came at the first time. I'm like, you come out and get Chanel back. Like, I didn't want to just talk money. Like, I don't be having time for everything else. Like, if we go fuck with each other, that's going to come. But I just want to know, is you going to spend money on me first? First and foremost. Very valid question, if you ask me. That's so we did ask you. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. I guess we were asking what else makes your poom poom speak. Charlemagne says anything with knowledge he wants inserted. Um, <laughs> Shut up! Ange- <laughs> Won't you ask Angela Yee? Because this okay. hello. I don't want to go to human resources, so Angela Yee. So why are you okay with asking him the same thing? Because he he would ask. I'll go to that. human resources too. That'll be the story. Now that's a better story. <laughs> that's the best right? story. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> when I go in there and I talk about what I've seen and I've witnessed and I've experienced. Okay. My goodness. So Angela Yee, um, mm-hmm. you heard the question. <laughs> <laughs> Can you repeat it? Nope. Nope. <laughs> you heard the question. Um, I think that ambition's important. I understand what, what people mean when they say broke, but I also feel like Having those successes, sometimes people are not as much focused on money, but more about like getting things done, being successful, they're ambitious, and at first the money doesn't come. So I think that achievements would also make mine talk. But you know what really helps? If you can make it laugh. Sense of humor. How do you make the poom poom laugh? Okay, okay. And you know, when it laughs, it like, you know, it's gripping. You know, that's that's what she brings up a very good point. Um, you know, I always say that you always have to have a however. You know, when Biggie Small said um, black and ugly as ever, however, mm-hmm. you always got to have your however. You know, Biggie's however was uh, he was Gucci down to the socks so he could dress, you know what I mean? And probably, probably smelled nice, whatever, whatever. But your however might be you got a sense of humor. You know, mm-hmm. or your however might be your intellect. You know, okay. your however isn't always something tied to the, the, the fine the finances. You always got to have okay. a however. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? Good morning, Breakfast Club. This is Jaina, J to the A to the N to the A. Hey, hey Jaina, J to the A to the N to the A. Hey, uh, I think you said I think I spelled that right. But anyway, Jaina. what makes your yes, poom poom uh, talk? A man that really listens to what you have to say. And I'm not talking about, oh, I'm giving you instructions to do things. I'm talking about if I'm just sitting down and you ask me how my day is, and we just having general conversation, and I'm like, you know what? I haven't eaten blank, blank, blank in a while. Or I haven't, you know, uh, I love to get a foot rub when I get off work. Girl, my back been killing me. And you come home, baby, you got a meal, or you got a mm. massage all set up, baby, or you got a gift card to send me to get a massage. It's like, boy, you better come get these pants. Exactly. What's wrong with you? Okay. <laughs> and if he wow. ain't got no job, he can do all of that. That's crazy I mean, that all she wants. <laughs> doesn't Jana. mean that you can't clean up that house. You know Exactly. Saying, That's what I'm talking about. Now, Jana, That's come on. Now, now, now Jana, you started off by saying all you want is a man that'll listen. Now you done say you want a housekeeper, a cook, a masseuse. What, shouldn't, shouldn't we everybody be that to each other? Shawty may not be married yes. for 18 years. So Congratulations, what, baby. You know, so get that nice foot rub. Okay, I'm with- like if I come home and my husband got that them pots rolling, okay, and all I got to do is come home from work and sit my ass on the sofa, and he, hey, well, how was your day? And he actually want to know, shit. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Jana getting Jana getting horny thinking about it. I'm gonna go home and make that. Let me call him now. Jeez. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, y'all, well, y'all married. Well, y'all some old married heads. Y'all go home and kill that woman. Old married heads. That's it. You right? That's you all right. I do. And she rub them be, feet. Are you trying to get some of this good, good or what? Yes, All ma'am. Right. Okay. I'm with you, Jaina. Hello, who's this? Hello, yeah. who's this? Hey, anonymous. Hey, anonymous. Uh, now, why the hell you got to remain anonymous on the radio? You can just give a fake name. We can't see what, you. What? 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 What makes your poom poom uh, speak, sir? Hey, I, I mean, that's cool. Like, fresh, man. Like, 
I can't yeah, hear you. Speak up, King. Oh, my bad, my bad. A, a woman that can cook from scratch? Yes. A woman that can cook from scratch? That'll make my poem from scratch. Like, not no noodles in the microwave, you know, seasoning up. No, like, really from scratch, like your grandma or your mom? Yeah, that'll make my poem from scratch. I don't like do these guys poom-poom? calling in talking <laughs> about their poom poom stuff. Can we have anything for ourselves? Damn. Is this, is this bussy talk? <laughs> it's definitely bussy talk. Can we have no, anything nothing. for ourselves? Why do y'all got to no, call in about your food make my bussy talk. <laughs> Nah, a high meal make my pussy talk. I, th- I thought that was an understanding that we were talking about stimulation, not not. <laughs> yeah, we have we something. Actually, we we talking to the women, my brother, but uh, we appreciate you calling. <laughs> Thank you, King. See what you started, Charlamagne, talking about yours. Now everybody want to call. Everybody want to talk about yeah, absolutely. Eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. We're talking about what makes your uh, poom poom talk. Call us up now. It's the breakfast. And only if you have one, please. What did, what did you say, Angela Yee? Make sure... She I said you can laughing. make it laugh, but I also feel like ambition and having your successes in whatever it is that you do, I think that's attractive. Now, All not right. mixtape rapper ambition, though, right? I think it's realistic ambition, where you actually <laughs> have a plan and it's right, working, you. but you might not be there yes. yet. Got you. All right, well, let's go to the phone lines. Hello, who's this? Hey, this is Stephanie from Birmingham. Hey, Stephanie. Good morning. Hey, Stephanie. Good morning. Now, we're asking, what makes your uh, poom poom uh I feel like talk? I should ask. Yeah, you should ask. <laughs> hey, Angela. Hey, boo. <laughs> so what it's makes giggling. It, what makes... So basically what makes it um, is like intellect and if you love me correctly and just good conversation. Yes, how do you good, love somebody passionate conversation. I like that. Tell me how you love someone correctly. I think I'm doing it right, but tell me. Basically, when you love someone correctly, it's basically like when you value them and you speak life to all of their dreams, ambitions, and you help them become the better, the better part of themselves. True indeed. Okay. I'm with you on that, 100%. You were right. When you're, right. When you're, you're pouring into right. a person. Not that toxic Pour. love, but that love love. Mm-hmm. Hello, who's this? Hi, my name's Catherine. Hey, Catherine. Hey, Catherine. Hello. We're talking about what makes you, um, <laughs> yeah, you asked me. Let Angela Thank you. Ask so we're talking about our City Girls interview and what makes your poom poom talk. Okay, so here's my theory on it. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so initially, like, I think society has really just set up our young people to think backwards. If you're dating somebody at a young age, it's very rare you're going to find somebody who's got money in their pockets, who can buy you your G-Wagon, whatever, so on and so forth. So you really got to build that man and help him out to get where he needs to be. Women are so quick to just toss men aside and say, you don't have what what, what it needs to take care of me. But as a grown woman... A man with money shows that a man is on his grind, that he is working towards something, that he has the intellect and the ability to get out there and get things done. And I think that's what attracts women to a man with money. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm. The power that comes with it. Right. And the power that comes with it. So to me, I think we're talking about age differences here and really what Mm -hmm. you're looking for comparative to somebody who's young and somebody who's grown and looking for what they need. True indeed. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Mama. All right, let's get it. Hello, who's this? Oh, this is King of Zamunda. How are you guys doing? <laughs> okay, you got money. Okay. King I do got money. I'm Davido's cousin. Real quick, um, I want to hit the point. Uh, definitely, intellect stimulates me. But, um, Talking about that, I want to talk about something else. Uh, do you have a pom pom though? Know, hey. Do you have one? No. Yeah, yeah. I do have pom pom, but that's there that's you go. one of the talks. I Prince really of, want to talk about oh, wait a minute, you really... Charlamagne, Charlamagne, listen. I've been trying to call for the past one week to get my okay. point across, and the okay. only thing I wanted to say was I think we're losing the war as black people. One talk to me. talking about intellect and logic, and the reason is. Right now, I think everything just pisses us off, and I think we don't have a strategy. A good example is the news reporter that used the N-word. Everybody's so mad at that news reporter that people fail to forget that she's just the messenger. 
I am more excited that for the fact that she brought the news. Man, we trying to talk about Poom Poom and Bussy right now, man. I don't oh want to, let's Let me try to say to he has one. I wanted to hear about that. See, you you oh, calling on a Friday, derailing us from a great boom, 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 boom conversation. All right? I don't want to hear about that right now. You want to using the N-word and all that. I want to talk about the boom, boom, and the pussy. What did I say? Oh, my goodness. I meant you can't to say, say boom, that. I meant to say boom, boom, and bussy. <laughs> we know what you meant. We know what you meant. What's the moral of the story, guys? The moral of the story is thank you to my wife for loving me when I was broke. Uh, that's why now that we are grown, she can have whatever she likes because I would not be me if it wasn't for her. So when her poom poom talks, I listen because her poom poom always has something to say to me. I speak that poom poom's language. You hear me? You hear me? Okay. We don't hear you. Sounds like All your right, poom poom was yelling. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, we got rumors on the way. I bet you if I, yeah, I, bet you if I fought, I bet you if I fought, Envy will be like, did you call? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bussy's talking. You know what? You, what right, we, as long as y'all don't do that in the bathtub, right. Bert and Ernie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, since we're being nasty this morning, let's talk about music. Yesterday, Plies was trending, and that's because of, because of his WAP remix. Can we play that, or is it too nasty? I don't know if we have a clean version. We can play a little bit of it. We'll get into it we'll next. Try. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.